Hello, I'm sharing a short presentation on how to assess the sliding sign in an anti-voted uterus. Uh, in an anti-voted uterus, when we push upon the uterus with a transvaginal probe, we look for the free sliding of the bowel loops past the posterior uterine fundus and the retrocervical region in a longitudinal section of the uterus. A positive sliding sign rules out obliteration of the pouch of Douglas. So moving on, let us have a look at the first clip. This is an antiverted uterus. And all that we have to do is to see if there is free sliding of the bowel loops past the posterior uterine fundus and the visualized cervix in this clip. Please have a look again carefully at this clip and try to see if the sliding sign is positive or negative. Do you see free sliding of the bowel loops past the posterior uterine fundus or the retrocervical region in this clip? Once more. And if you've looked carefully at this clip, by now you would have realized that this is a case with a negative sliding sign. This was actually a case of deep infiltrating endometriosis. And if you see here towards the end of this clip, you would also note an ovarian endometrioma. This is the endometrioma which has come into view. So this is what a negative sliding sign looks like. Let us see the next clip. Again, I'm pushing upon the cervix with my transvaginal probe. Do you see the free gliding of bowel loops in the retrocervical region? This is the cervix. So do you see gliding of bowel loops in the retrocervical region? Please have a look at the clip again. Do you see the bowel loops gliding freely past the cervix in this clip? Once more. Now this is what a negative uh, sliding sign in the retrocervical region looks like. We do not appreciate the bowel loops gliding freely on the posterior aspect of the cervix in this clip. And if you have an eagle eye and have seen deep infiltrating endometriosis before, you may have noticed a patch of deep infiltrating endometriosis involving the anterior wall of the rectum behind the cervix in this clip here. So this is a case of deep infiltrating endometriosis with a negative sliding sign in the retrocervical region. Another case, again look at the sliding sign. Do you see sliding of the bowel loops past the uterus or the cervix in this clip? This structure here is the cervix next to the transvaginal probe. And please have a look again at the clip. I'm pushing upon the cervix with my probe. Do you see free gliding of the bowel loops past the cervix here? You should be having a close look at this area. Do you see any bowel loops gliding past the cervix here? By now you would have appreciated that this is indeed a case of a negative sliding sign. There is no sliding of bowel loops on the posterior aspect of the cervix. And again, if something caught your eye, you have a look at this hypoechoic irregular patch seen in the region of the torus uterinus. This is again a patch of deep infiltrating endometriosis. But the first clue before you start looking for the deep infiltrating endometriosis would be a negative sliding sign here. Moving on, another clip. Please have a look, another anti-worded uterus. See the region of the posterior uterine fundus. Do you see gliding of the bowel loops freely past the posterior uterine fundus in this clip? As I said, this is the uterus, that's the cervix. We have to focus in the region of the posterior uterine fundus. These echogenic things are bowel loops. Do you see free gliding of the bowel loops past the posterior uterine fundus? I think by now you would agree that this is a case with a positive sliding sign. 
So one can see the bowel loops gliding freely past the posterior uterine fundus in this clip. So this is a pouch of Douglas, which is free of adhesions. This is normal. Another clip. In this, I am pressing upon the cervix with my transvaginal probe. Do you see free gliding of bowel loops past the posterior aspect of the cervix? This is the cervix continuing as the uterus and you have to look in the retro cervical region. So in this region, do you see free gliding of the echogenic bowel loops past the posterior wall of the cervix? I think by now you would agree that the bowel loops are gliding freely past the posterior aspect of the cervix. This is a case of positive sliding sign. So this is normal. This is what you should see in a pelvis which is free of adhesions. Here you are not going to look for deep infiltrating endometriosis. Now you can also look for the sliding sign in the utrovesical region that is in the anterior compartment of the pelvis. So in this clip you would see the urinary bladder here that is anteriorly and the uterus here and we would be looking for sliding in the utrovesical compartment. As you can see here, this is the bladder wall. This echogenic line that you see is the utrovesical fold of peritoneum. My probe is in the anterior fornix and I'm pushing upon the urinary bladder with my probe. And you can see how the collapsed bladder wall is gliding freely past the anterior aspect of the uterus. So this is a normal utrovesical compartment, which is free of adhesions. When would we see adhesions in the anterior utero, anterior compartment or in the utrovesical region? We would see this in a patient who's had a previous C-section or if a patient has got concomitant bladder endometriosis. So that is when we would not appreciate this positive sliding of the anterior compartment, that is the utrovesical region. So this is the normal positive sliding sign. Another clip. This is another clip of the utrovesical region. Have a look at it, please. This is the urinary bladder filled with urine. This is the uterus, the cervix there. And do you appreciate normal sliding in the utrovesical compartment? Please have a look. One cannot see the bladder wall collapsing and moving freely past the lower uterine segment. This is a case with bladder endometriosis. You can actually see a hypoechoic lesion in the urinary bladder. And this lesion is a case of bladder endometriosis with absent sliding in the utromesical compartment. Now, if you've been looking at this video in total carefully, you can appreciate the normal sliding of the bowel loops. There is some free, free fluid in the pouch of Douglas and you can see the normal sliding of the bowel loops in the posterior compartment that is on the posterior aspect of the cervix. So the posterior compartment is free of adhesions. There is no obliteration of pouch of Douglas in this case. However, there is endometriosis in the anterior compartment and a negative sliding sign in the utrovesical compartment. So this is all about sliding sign for now. I hope you will make an attempt to practice sliding sign in your day-to-day -day practice. Thank you.